Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. I have this beautiful, beautiful kit called Vintage Florals by Jackson Pepper. My code with her is Rachel15, plus you'll get my freebie, so put my name in the notes to seller. I'm so excited to be using silver foil. I've kind of needed a break from just rose gold and gold, which I never thought I would say, but honestly, I think rose gold and silver have become my favorite foil colors. Using silver is just kind of a treat, and it's just really clean and elegant, super feminine, and I just really like it. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put down the base. If you have any questions, comment below, and I hope that you enjoy. Love with how this little section turned out. I used a frame box from Sweet Bella XOXO. She is on vacation, not sure when she's coming back, but I really do miss her and I hope she comes back soon. The day off script is from Panda Bird Design. I did cut up some florals, so love how that turned out. The foiled floral like leaf piece behind there is from Sadie Stickers, I believe. So I had a meeting, a phone meeting, <laughs> and then I just used that using a vintage phone appropriately, you know, because this kit is called Vintage Florals and a lot of White Deer stationery icons matched perfectly, like chef's kiss, obsessed with it. That is from, again, White Deer stationery. The bows I'm pulling in are from Sadie Stickers and Honey Inked. The bike is from White Deer stationery and the hexagon is from Saucy Stickers Co., which I now have a code for, so check that out below. Ooh, that rhymed. That really rhymed. 
<laughs> okay, sorry. Um, and then I used some utensils from Crafts by Towie to mark that we got a burrito from a place locally. I don't know the name of the place because it's just kind of one of those hole in the wall places, you know, but I love supporting them. It's just a really small business and the owner is so sweet. Okay. And this laptop, White Deer Stationery, I took a lot of inspiration from my bestie Tay. She uses a lot of florals and like leaf deco pieces over icons and they just look so good. I finally got the, you know, confidence to try them out in this spread just because this kit used a lot. You know, this was like my first official spring kit and or I mean spring spread <laughs> and I just wanted to go crazy with all of the leaves, the branches, the flowers, etc. So really love how this turned out. I went a little bit crazy on Monday, but it turned out really pretty. Okay, the apron is also from White Deer Stationery. We made some homemade Mediterranean bowls. If you watched my previous plan with me, I was talking about going to Kava so many times, too many times in a week. <laughs> but we went and you know we just decided let's just go ahead and start making our own and it turned out really good. Not as great as Kava, you know, just because I feel like they have a lot of stuff, like a lot of ingredients. Like saffron, you guys, is so expensive. Greg was like, this is this is how much a little tiny thing of saffron costs. And I'm like, yeah, I get it. I get it. Okay. The tiny confetti or the small confetti mini, is that what it's called? Mini confetti flags from Clever Gal Crafts. And I wanted to use that to mark working from home. I'm pretty sure I worked from home this whole week. I think I did. Yeah, my schedule is all over the place, especially with a new job and training. It is, it's crazy. But we'll make it, we'll make it. Okay. <laughs> the laptop situation is from Crafts by Towie. I say that because I think that's actually like her work laptop icon. It's super cute. The box that I pulled in with the floral piece that is, or the leaf piece, that's from Bloom Paper Studio. I think it was a freebie that I had. Um, I don't have my planner in front of me, so I forgot what it said. Okay, I also, oh my gosh, you guys, I did so well this week. I worked out seven days straight, and I was so, so proud of myself. And it just, it's satisfying to mark that every single day I did a workout, whether it be, you know, bicycling, bicycling, biking, you know, you know. Whether it be biking, we would bike minimum five miles. And on Monday, we did 10 miles, which, so proud. Um, but yeah, it's just been nice because, you know, it's nicer outside. It's sunny. It's it's not super hot, but it's like a nice breeze too. And it's just been nice to be outside and biking versus just sitting stationary <laughs> on my stationary bike. <laughs> So I wanted to mark that I, again, went a little bit crazy. I'm not a huge fan of how this turned out, but I still think it turned out pretty, question mark. We'll see. Okay, so uh, here I'm just going to go ahead and mark. Okay, I paid for Procreate. I don't know why I never got it sooner. I guess a part of me thought it was going to be super expensive. That's what I get for not just looking because I never just, I was too lazy. That's the reality. <laughs> and I used a Sadie Stickers pen to cover the center bow as well as a line divider just to cover up where I cut that box down because I really like this about Jackson Pepper's boxes where you can just trim down the top or bottom border and it still looks really good if you want to either adjust the height of the box. I don't know if that made sense. Did it? Okay. On Wednesday, worked from home. I don't know why I marked that, but you know, nothing else to really mark, you know? And also the work from home scripts are from the Glitter Mama. That Camera tripod is from Crafts by Towie, my favorite camera icon ever, super perfect. And oh my gosh, I am so not in frame. I mean, I mean, I'm in frame, but like I can't see what I marked under that. I think the flourish I used under there is from Saucy Stickers Co. It is super beautiful. Here I'm just using these garlands differently or like the dot banners. And I really like how this turned out where I just did it in the corner. It turned out really pretty and just cutting off the excess. Um, I marked a meeting using the same white deer stationary laptop. This tennis shoe is from Arcbox Stickers, who is unfortunately closed. By the way, super bright in this clip because the sun was like doing its thing and, you know, we love it. So I wanted to mark that. I watched the college scandal. I think it's called the college admission scandal. Guys, crazy, crazy. I mean, I'm not surprised. Let's be honest. But 
I tucked a floral from Hun Ink behind that because I think it turned out really pretty. And I tried to be super intentional about remembering which flourishes and boxes I used so that my spread looked cohesive. Let's see if I if I achieved that because part of me feels like I didn't. <laughs> On Thursday, I marked working from home again and having another meeting, you know, working from home meetings, blah, blah, blah. That's all we're doing. <sighs> Fun times. Anyways, comment below what you've been doing to stay sane. I feel like it's nice to do a little checkup after... It's been how many months, almost pretty much a year now since COVID started. So let me know what you've been doing to stay sane. I've been really enjoying just going out and biking, walking, all of those things. Okay, Thursday, love the section. Just to mark that it was a really crappy day, I wanted to dress it up as much as I could because let me say that is an understatement. It was a really crappy day. Like my day started off really, really well. And then around two o'clock, it just, it went downhill. So yeah, that um, script is from Letters to Apollo. The box is from The Giving Girl. I think that big like leaf piece, I think that's from Bloom Paper Studio. I can't remember. It was on a freebie. And then the flourish I'm pulling in is from The Pretty Pink Co. I went on a five mile bike ride again with Greg. So it's been really nice because we, you know, bikes are not cheap, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> bikes are expensive. So it's nice because I feel like we are getting our money's worth because we're going all the time, at least right now. I'm going to let you know right now in the summertime, if it's way too hot, I'm going to have to either do it first thing in the morning or later in the day when it cools down because I just can't. I can't. <laughs> Here I'm pulling in this leaf piece from Honey Inked. And again, trying my best to like make it look cute and do something different. And it's not my favorite, but I think it still turned out pretty. Like I'm not going to knock it because I'm trying something different <laughs> and getting out of my comfort zone and, you know, doing the same stuff over and over again. But yeah, I think overall the spread looked really good as a whole. And this is definitely probably one of my favorite spreads because the colors are just so, so me. Very cool tones and it's just neutral and gorgeous. On Friday, I wanted to just use that doily from Honey Inked because I used one at the beginning of the week, but also I didn't have too much to mark this day. That flourish is from Saucy Stickers Co. I had another meeting. Yay for meetings. This hexagon is from Saucy Stickers Co. And the bike again is from White Deer Stationery. The side bow is from Sadie Stickers. I love these. They are so dainty and so pretty. I love using them on icons, especially White Deer Stationery icons. And I'm going to switch this out later, but this is the same box I used at the beginning of the week. It's from Bloom Paper Studio. I think I messed up my writing and the whiteout was not cute. So yeah, the vintage phone is from White Deer Stationery. I spoke to one of my best friends this day. It was just really nice to kind of vent and get her advice on the previous poopy day. So yeah, that tennis shoe is from the Glitter Mama and I tucked some of the uh, cut up leaf pieces behind it because I didn't want to waste that sticker. <laughs> Here I'm going to switch out that box with a third box from Panda Bird Design. I'm going to use the other piece of the garland from Sadie Stickers so I don't waste it and because it was just perfectly cut for this corner. So love how that turned out. I think I'm going to start putting garlands in corners like that over an icon. I think it looks so, so good. Um, instead of biking this day, I think it was raining this day. I just did. Oh, no, actually, JK, I biked we biked six miles and I also did a leg workout. So I did, I think I did two, two a days this week. So I, again, you guys, let me just, let me be proud. I'm going to be proud of myself. I worked out seven days this week and I did two, two a days. So proud of myself just because, um, I don't know how well this week is going to go. <laughs> it's currently Monday and I'm just already feeling like not in the mood, you know? But I think the nicer weather has definitely motivated me more to just like get out and do stuff, especially having a bike. Um, I would rather bike than run. I hate running. Let me know. Would you rather bike or would you rather run? I'm not a runner. Okay. Never will be. <laughs> okay. So on Saturday, uh, my sister, my mom and I and Greg, my mom visited this weekend and my sister has been staying with me. Um, she, we all went on a eight mile bike ride. and. <laughs> Oh, my mom. I love her, but she held us back. 
I'm just kidding. Um, Because usually when Greg and I are biking, we are like zooming, like we're going so fast. And um, my mom, I I adore her, but I'm just like, mom, you're holding us back. Come on, get it together. (laughs) Just kidding. All right. So I did a post office drop off. I wanted to drop off a D-stash as well as some happy mail I was sending over to Tay. And that is a mailbox thing from White Deer Stationery. This coffee cup is from the GP Studio. She is now open again from what I understand. That flourish is from the Pretty Pink Co. And some more accents because, you know, accents are amazing. If you haven't watched my Honey Inked Spring releases, a lot of these accents I'm pulling in are on their own full sheets, which I'm so, so happy Amanda did that because so many people have been asking for them, sending me DMs and everything. So, Hopefully you all were able to pick some up and that you love them. And this is actually where I started using some of the Meadow stickers. Like I think I use one accent later, but this is the half trim I pulled in at the bottom of Saturday. And that was a part of her spring release as well. Super beautiful. Let me know if you picked anything up from Honey Inked. And if you did, what did you grab? What are you excited for? Happy to know. And here I'm just pulling in some garlands from Sadie Stickers. The mini garland or what... Now, Amanda has, she's called it dot banners because that's what I've been calling them. But those are the mini ones from her shop that um, I originally started using when a lot of these like dot banner trends started happening. So on, um, what did we do? Oh yeah, so we grabbed sushi that night for dinner. It was a long wait, but so worth it. On Sunday, I uploaded the Honey Inked spring new releases video. I wanted to showcase all the stickers so you guys could see them before making purchases. So I hope that was helpful. The stickers are from Crafts by Towie and the line divider is from Sadie Stickers. This is a frame box. I don't remember which shop that's from. It was in my leftover sticker book and that is a shopping bag from White Deer Stationery to Mark that I just picked up my medicine and we grabbed some groceries at Sam's Club. So we haven't been to Sam's Club in so long and um yeah, we got a lot of stuff. We really just go there for like, you know, bulk toilet paper, paper towels, stuff like that. And yeah, so it was super crowded. I was overwhelmed and I just wanted to leave. I just, I could not. I was like, it's time to go. Like, let's go. I was sweating. It was a whole thing. It was annoying. <laughs> I worked out um, or we did a six mile bike ride. And then I also wanted to train chest and upper body a little bit. So the dumbbells are from the Glitter Mama. And also this super cute relax candle is from Crafts by Towie. I love that just in black. The leaves I put behind there are from Honey Inked. The Bob's Burger scripts are from Blush Bow Boutique Co. And basically I um, I had a little massage and I relaxed. It was nice. Here I'm just cutting up some of the florals in half. I like this because I like that it's flushed to like the border and just adding some more accents everywhere because it's cute, but yeah. Okay, that's pretty much it. Here are the leftover stickers. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it and I'm caught up. I'm just happy this turned out beautiful. 